our first day? Hi, I'm Zach. Colin. Kimberly. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I heard you had a class walk out on you. Uh, not the whole class. I think they were testing me. You pass? I'm not finished yet. Buy you guys a beer? I was gonna buy you a drink. No thanks, not on a school night. So sit, sit, sit. Not as horn dogs though, as colleagues. So, the dope on Winslow. Bull number one, there's one of you and 35 of them. The only way to survive is to scare the living crap out of them. You show them you mean business. So what do you think, slap them around a little bit? Unfortunately, corporal punishment is no more. How I long for the good old days of 50 lashes with the ruler. Are oh, you serious? Believe me, young man, they show no respect. That's anarchy. No, this is even money. I'm not giving any odds on this thing. I'll take 20. Can you handle 20? Can I handle it? You got it. What about you, Harvey? I'll wager a dollar. Oh, big spender. You want some of this, Marilyn? I still have plenty of action left over for you. Did I just say that? I will not bet on whether or not a fellow colleague gets terminated. Why not? Yeah, come on, you could hold the money. If I win, there's a big tip in it for you. You're betting on whether or not I get fired? Oops. I was just holding the money. You are supposed to be my peer reviewer. Okay, Tom Jode. What are your thoughts so far? Well, where do we find him at the beginning of the novel? Prison, right? He just got out of prison. Does that make him a bad man? Anyone? How many of you finished the reading assignment? How many of you started it? Guys, we need to do this. If you don't do the reading, we can't have a real discussion. All right, I've heard enough. Mr. Lipschitz. Don't sit there slumped over like that. Stand. Take authority. Here, put this on. What? Put it on. Now send one of these brain surgeons to Goober. What? Why? Because his office isn't big enough to hold all of them. Pick one or I will. Mr. Lipschitz, I, I think your role was... You, actually... craphead. Go to Goober. <laughs> what? Wipe that silly grin off your face. Go. What am I supposed to tell him? Tell him that you neglected to do a mandatory reading assignment and that you have an attitude problem. Colin. You are not to call him Colin anymore. His name is Mr. Flynn. And you see this tie? This makes him a teacher. And if he gives you pages to read, you read them. There'll be a test on those pages tomorrow. Anyone failing the test, he automatically gets a failure for the course. I'm very sorry if I interrupted your party schedule, but from here on in, there'll be no more free rides given to Mr. Flint's class. Good day! Buy a suit. Called it a spring autumn thing. Yep. How'd you respond to that? You know, you know how some people when they get pissed, their lips kind of twitch. They twitch. They twitched. <laughs> and then you broke it off with her. Correct. So you broke up with someone you weren't even going out with. Correct. Why? I need to get back on the radar, right? Hey, fish. I uh, got the photocopies you wanted. I thought the machine was down. Uh, I ran to Kinko's. Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's no big deal. See you, fish. See you, fish. How do you get these students so dedicated? I don't know. I guess I'm just myself in class, you know? Humor seems to be a good way to break the ice. Humor? I could try that. I'm funny as hell. This is not good. So, who's teaching the class? I am teaching the class. Mr. Lipschitz was just trying to help. Is there going to be a test? You said no test until the midterms. Guys, calm down. There's not going to be a test. Look, Mr. Lipschitz, while having all good intentions, tends to be a little whack. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, the, the dude's a little tired. You, go to Goba's. <laughs> you, 
Take yourself out back and shoot yourself. <laughs> I have seen and heard enough of this behavior from you nitwits. <laughs> Young man, what are you laughing about? If I wasn't urinating into a bag at the moment, <laughs> I'd come over there and teach you a little respect. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey, wait up. Harvey, get realistic. You're not gonna outrun me. I'm sorry about before. I didn't intend to hurt your feelings. Young man, this isn't about my feelings. You're my colleague. You bring me down, you bring us all down. They might have laughed at you, but do you really think they respect you? So listen, you were right, Harvey. Of course I was right. I don't have the respect. Yeah, yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't know if I can do what you do. Teach. Really teach. When I was in there the other day and they were laughing, it felt good. For the first time since I've been here, I had them. They were mine. So I took the low road. It'll never happen again. I hope you can forgive me. Tomorrow... You might want to try a tie with a little more dignity.